Hello and welcome to Caesar's Snack Sandwich. Today I'm going to take a look at Archimedes. Now Archimedes is a project that is in the making. They're kind of doing their audits and stuff like that right now, so I've been told. Um, basically what it is, it's a leveraging platform where you can leverage and stable coins. And they are, they are designing some for ETH and BTC as well on Ethereum. Now, as you can see, it's coming soon. This, this project's not live. And uh, so you have to watch it and, you know, keep your eye on it and find out when it does come live. Um, I was uh, reached out to by this guy here. I'm not sure who this is from the team Archimedes. And they, you know, suggested I take a look at it. And that's what I've done today. And this is the extent of the conversations I've had with these people. So I don't know who they are, what they, what they do and so forth and you know what they've done in the past and so forth so this is something that you will have to do yourself to uh you know do some research on who these people are and whether or not you like this and so forth um <clears throat> i read through the docs and i read through these medium articles there's a couple medium articles and the docs are okay uh, it took me quite a bit of time to actually think about what i was reading the the docs are not very fluent and very easy to understand there's they, they kind of jump around with their ideas a little bit so i would suggest them to consider you know making it a little bit more step by step and easy to follow but i do have a flow chart for you that based on the understanding i was able to achieve by uh, reading through these docs and these uh, medium articles so let's go over to that uh flowchart now and uh, I'll explain to you what I believe Archimedes can do for you. Okay so here we are on the flowchart and we have Dollar Bill and his brother Boosted Bill and Archimedes here in the middle. Now Dollar Bill has some stable coins. Uh, any of these these four stable coins, the LV which is LV USD, uh, USD which is the uh, Archimedes like uh, stable coin or he has uh, any of the three pool tokens. So in this case, I've given him USDC. So he gives USDC to Archimedes, right? Now, I'm not sure if he's going to get back a wrapped token or not, but I don't think so. There was no mention of a wrapped token, so it might just remember that, oh, he has given us uh, USDC and he has nothing left in his wallet. So his USDC is then uh, sent to Curve and supplies to the liquidity pool LV. Uh, three pools, right? So again, he can bring any of these tokens and supply them as far as I can tell. Now, as a the first reward he will get for doing so is he will earn Arch tokens, the, uh, the, the, the token, the reward token of the Archimedes platform. So A-R-C-H. Um, now again, this, this protocol is not live, so this A-R-C-H token is not live either. So keep that in mind. Um, so Along comes his brother, Bill, right? Uh, his brother, Boosted Bill, wants to uh, participate in some leverage. So the first thing he needs to do is he needs to go to Uniswap and buy some of these Arch tokens and basically bid on a Dutch auction to, to utilize this uh, these stable coins here to lever up, okay? So, you know, there will be other people bidding on, or perhaps not bidding, but the, the price will start high and then slowly, slowly go low until he feels that it's a good time to buy this. And then he will, you know, buy the, the, the arch tokens and pay them. Now in the, the docs, uh, it does, there is a, a mention of these tokens being burned, um, but it's not 100% clear. So I, this is something I would confirm that these arch tokens are burned because there's another place where it says they are sent to the treasury. So I'm not sure, sent to the treasury, and then used to fund this or burned and used to basically increase the value of these through supply and demand mechanics, right? So anyways, he does have to uh, to buy some and he does have to use them to basically pay for his opportunity to lever up. So let's say he wins, then he's going to get some of the OUSD, Origin Dollar Tokens. Now, this video doesn't explain what Origin Token does, but Origin Token basically is a interest-bearing stablecoin, and it basically gets its interest from Aave, Compound, and uh, Curve as well. So this would require me to do a whole new video, but basically Origin is a token that has built-in APY already, okay? So keep that in mind. So he picks up some Origin tokens, and he uses them as collateral on uh, Archimedes. So then what Archimedes then does is it takes his OUSD, right? Puts it into a pile, right? And then it interacts with this liquidity that has been built and owned by Archimedes. And it what, it, what the protocol says, what the, the doc says is it 
gets some LUS, LVUSD, swaps it for USDC, takes the USDC, swaps that for OUSD, and piles it up with leverage, right? So I'm not exactly sure why they need to swap, why they don't just pull LUS, pull USDC out of here and use that to buy the L, uh, but they, they want swapping fees. So I'm not sure if they're going to mint up a bunch of LUSD or LVUSD, or they're going to just basically pull out the LVUSD and then swap it through the pool, right? So I'm, I'm not exactly sure what's going on there, but that's again, another thing you should, you should confirm. Uh, there's a good likelihood that they're going to just basically mint a whole bunch of LVUSD on this collateral and then you know swap it for OUSD and then put the OUSD together and then wrap that up in an NFT and give that NFT to a dollar bill. So I'm going to say it just again, just so that it becomes very clear. He supplies OUSD, OUSD is added to the pool as well as he's leverage, leverages up and gets some more swaps for some more OUSD. And then there's a whole bunch of OUSD. Now remember this is interest bearing tokens and it's put wrapped up into an NFT, and the NFT is given to a boosted bill. Now, there is a performance fee on this, of uh, because this is producing yield. There is a, I believe it was 20% performance fee, and this fee is given to uh, dollar bill here, as well as they call they say the ARC token holders. So I would assume that they would require the people with ARC tokens to stake them in order to get a share of this, but that does say ARC token holders. Okay, so next one. So now there is this risk here of because like if everybody's just, you know, like selling, selling uh, LVUSD and buying OUSD, there is a risk of like these, these uh, two pools becoming uh, out of balance, right? Because there's a large, like huge amount of leverage going through this. So how they're going to do this is they're going to, as a team, they're going to monitor these pools and throttle the max leverage. And basically the amount of the price in the Dutch, the Dutch, the Dutch auction, as well as the, the amount that can be leveraged up. Right. So they're going to monitor this and, and control it as, as a team. It's not uh, something that is being done automated with the contracts. This will be required some sort of settings being changed uh, manually, I would assume. OK, next, after 12 months or some thereafter, after 12 months, he has a choice or even he could do it early if he wanted. He can burn this NFT and claim his interest plus his principal. Right. And then basically unwind this position back to to this to this pool here, or he could get some more um, arc tokens and renew his position. So pay another chunk of arc tokens to the system to renew his leveraged up position. Okay. Now one more option he has because this is an NFT, he can take it over to OpenSea or Looks Rare, and he can sell it to you know NFT people. Now, there's a lot of talk in the the Medium article about the benefits of this NFT and this ability to like add these other people, because basically this whole system here needs to be understood. But this guy here doesn't really need to understand that he's just buying this NFT, and it's going to be in you know maybe six months or eight months he can. You can burn it and get a whole bunch of US dollars out of it. So it should be sold at a premium to what it costs to put in because he had to buy these arch tokens and then he's also giving up some of his his yield and stuff like that. So you have to shop around a little bit. And it also allows him to exit cheaper on gas as long as you know somebody's willing to buy it because he'd have to unwind it and it would probably cost a little bit more in gas and uh, take a little bit more time. So as a uh, NFT collector, he might like this image and know that underneath this image, there's a whole bunch of OUSD. So there's a lot of talk in the, 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 the articles and in the docs about the benefits of this NFT and this uh, exposure to these NFT traders and these NFT collectors and so forth. Now, if he does buy this, there could be royalties and these royalties will then again be given to uh, dollar bill here as well as the uh, the arch token holders again 
Okay, so that pretty much covers what I understand of this protocol. Um, I would uh, take a look at it and, you know, read the docs again, join the Discord or all that, ask more questions if you're really deciding you would like to use this. Um, I would really dig deeper into the origin, orig, origin dollar as well and find out whether or not you want to trust that because there is that exposure to that token. If that token does lose peg very drastically, very quickly, this uh, pro you might not be able to get your money out because why would dollar bill take the time to unwind it or boosted bill take the time to unwind it so that dollar bill can pull out his collateral his uh, his usdc if the tokens are worthless right the origin tokens become worthless okay so there's a little bit of risk there so keep that in mind but uh it is an interesting idea and especially this dutch auction idea where you know there's not like it's not completely permissionless who can leverage up you know there's a little bit of control here like they they they, they don't have to start a dutch auction they only have to do it when they, they feel it's necessary so i think it's interesting and uh i'm looking forward to seeing if it uh, pays off and it works out in the end for these people and uh thank you so much for watching i hope this has been useful and goodbye